previously on Donk and Roper. What do you want to know about me? I don't know what's underneath that clothes, bitch! And now... <laughs> what? Are you keeping an eye on me? You don't need to worry, I won't kill anyone. What should I do? Yes, I can! Hanging out twice in the same day, that seems a bit strong, doesn't it, Nagy? <sighs> you know what? I'm doing it. I was thinking about going to the cafeteria for a drink, I'm parched. Would you join me? I would love to. Had tea with Kyrgyz in the cafeteria. Kyrgyz and I bonded a little. Would I just give you a present? So, I'm thinking. If you love that um, thingy present, she loved the game thing, whatever it was. Would she love the actual a game that never came out? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Please, please, please. Okay, so I've got no more then. Hmm. You don't see those up too often. Do you mind if I take that? I'd like to examine it more in more detail. She seems to have liked it a bit. Uh, Kirigi? <laughs> How is it you can manage to remain so calm? Calm? Oh, me, I said that to her. Oh. I don't know if it just seems like you're not affected by any of this, like you're emotionless. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm some sort of monster. <laughs> uh, that's not what I was going for. I'm human. I'm he I'm human too. I experience joy, anger, sorrow, and excitement just as much as anyone else. I simply make an effort not to reveal what I'm feeling, either though, either though my actions or my speech. You make it. You make it sound so easy, but I'm really impressed you'll be able to keep it that up even through all this. So you too should should you should make a point of not wearing your heart on your sleeve so often, Mr. Open Book. Once again with the open book, I'm starting to get starting to get under my skin for a bit. Wonder there's anything I can do to catch her off guard. Yeah. Want to avoid being manipulated by others? You can you can't let them know what you're thinking, and you can't let yourself get caught up in what they're saying and forget to think for yourself. So. I suggest you not forget that. So that's why you're always wearing a poker face. That's. That's a real shame. Huh? I mean, you. You're really, really pretty when you smile. <gasps> Ooh, Nagi's going in! It's just a shame to just hide that. I, for one, would prefer if you smiled more. Oh, she's. She, she's got a smile on! It's working! His charm, Nagi's charm is coming out. It's working. It worked on Mazono. Well, we don't know. Mazono used that against him, but I don't think she would. We, we can, we can drill her in. We can bring her in. Where is this coming from? <laughs> How am I supposed to respond to you calling me pretty out of blue like this? Hey, is that a little smile I see? <laughs> hey? Nagi, did you trick me? <laughs> Damn right! I got it! I got the charm! What? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Does she think I'm doing a bad thing? I can't believe you actually manipulate a girl's heart like that. You're a cruel, cruel man, Nagi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I crossed the line there. But I, I wasn't completely lying when I said you were pretty. Ah, oh, look at that. She, she, she tricked me. She tricked me. Like I said, you're easy to trick. Huh? No. You're not a person who were compliment, a compliment a girl on her appearance unprompted. It was obviously forced. And, and you thought I wouldn't pick up on that. Wait, so... I thought I tricked her and it turned out she was the one tricking me. God damn it. God damn it! God damn it! Ah! Uh, don't let 
you got there, Mr. Open Book? And with that, she walked off. I'm no match for her. Not a chance. Ooh, you acquired the skill Right Brain Unleashed. After parting ways with Kirigi, I took I trudged back to my room. Dong ding dong. Time to go to bed. God damn it. I made it through another day. Sadly, the end of a day doesn't mean the end of this. Just how much longer is this going to last? That anxiety, that uncertainty hovered over me as I drifted into the light of rest of sleep. Okay, wait there. Let me take a drink. Okay. Goddamn this music, man. This is such, a, this is such a weirdest music, random music ever. Boom, 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 back up, all right. Here's voice. Whenever I see someone especially attractive, I got a bad habit of staring at them. I just stare and I stare. I can't help myself. Like, for example, earlier today, I rode my bike to the train station and couldn't take my eyes off the big mirror in the restroom. Oh, Manakuma, you, you, you dastardly little bear, you. <laughs> Ding dong, someone's probably dead. God damn, man, these martinis, wherever he's got. <laughs> It's freaking got every time is on the freaking TV. Alright, first go get Syria. Go get to Syria. Hopefully, please. Fingers crossed. Fingers everyone, even you watching the video, fingers crossed that I get more free time. Because I don't know. I don't want Kirigi to die. Because I feel like that's why we haven't revealed what her ability is yet. Maybe she dies when we reveal it in the trial, I have no idea. Almost like it had become a, a ritual of sorts. I stepped into the cafeteria for our morning assembly. However... That makes everyone. It feels like our ranks have thinned out quite considerably. Neither the Gami nor uh, Fugawara were in attendance, just as they declared the day before. This table has gone larger again. Not only have three of us passed on, we have two additional boycotters. With five less people around, it's not only natural, it seems bigger. That's true. I get the Gami, but wouldn't it be better if someone went and grabbed Fukara? Nah, she books the heck out of me, dude. Sounds like you're in a, sounds like someone's in a sour mood. I've been eating too much sour cream. Sour cream is creamier than a sour. Right, etc. Either way, that Tsukami has had is, is the real problem. Leave that kid unchecked, and I've no doubt he'll kill someone. I can see in his eyes. We've gotta like tie him up or something. That's taking a bit uh, thing, taking things a bit too far. He's right. The worst thing that could happen in a situation like this is a eruption of internal strife. Surely you heard the stories about that happening during the stu student movements. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Moving students? You wanna you wanna tie him up and drag him around or something? You 
you are an imbissa. Who you call an imbissa? Hey, what's wrong for Saggy? Something got you down? Doing a little, a little, self, a little bit of self loathing right now. Self loathing? Nothing with Togami yesterday. I got scared and I couldn't say anything back to him. Then the water ended up having to come to my rescue. Saying Togami was bullying people weaker than him. I can't keep doing this, being such a weakling. So, so it's the water's fault. You're feeling like crap. <laughs> huh? It's my fault? First off, I didn't mean you any harm when I said that. You're a chick, of course. You're weak. Are you crying? Well, you were shouting at her. Hey, don't cry. I'm sorry. I won't tell yet anymore. Oh, really? Forgive me if I don't believe you. If you're gonna go there. Alright, fine. I'll give you my word. Man's honor. Man's honor? I think I mentioned this before. But when I was a twerp, my big brother always used to tell me that a man keeps his promises no matter what. Those words all are all I have left of him. All you have left? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That was a bit direct. Anyway, enough about that. Don't, don't want to darken the mood any more than it already has. That said, I swear I won't shout again. So don't you cry either. Okay. Thanks, Sparta. Sure. But I can't go on like this. I gotta get stronger. I can't keep being, on, being a crybaby and a weakling. Though, there's no need to force yourself to get stronger. Oh, that's me. Though, there's no e need for you to force yourself to get stronger either. No, I want to be strong. Maybe I'll start working out. Should you choose to, I will gladly lend, lend you my assistance whenever you want it. You crush her, my darling Trillillo. You stay quiet. <laughs> Is that a smile I see, dude? Yeah? Thanks, guys. Well, that's a relief. We managed to cheer her up. If we can just keep supporting each other like this, I'm sure that someday we'll be able to make it out of this place. Someday. And someday, we will never make it out of this place. The one thing that has me concerned is the two people who never showed up. Togami and Fukuara. Is there any way for us to reach an understanding with them, with the two of them? Maybe not. Anyway, what should we do today? Freezer! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now, first thing is first. Now, so who's in that room? Fukaku is in that room. All right. Again, she's in the two B. Wait. Mm-hmm. Um, literally, guys, I am sorry <laughs> if I'm literally neglecting everyone else in the in the freaking place, but Tagami he's locked himself in the library. Oh, I don't know, he's like just gonna speak to us, but I don't know. I just I'm just really since like Junko's death and Mazono's death, I'm really unsure who's gonna die next. So I'm trying to do the people that I want to speak to and get as much as out of them as I can before if they die, if they die, I'm not sure, but I don't know if they, they could die next. 
Ah, oh God, because I'm going to regret it because I don't know what if it's someone who want, like, I wanted to do as well, but I didn't think. Hmm. Alright, so look, that's what I'm going to do. Kirigi. I'm going to go to her again. I feel like if we keep pushing, we can get somewhere. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it. <laughs> Wandering around? Is something the matter, Nagi? Do we have some time, perhaps? What should I do? Let us hang out. Hmm? Ooh, that is a good sign, everyone. Listen to this. I have no reason to turn you away. And I don't feel like turning you away. That means she wants me. She wants me. She wants me. Nagi. Literally, call me the super duper high school love star or romance star. What? Look at this. I might even be starting to show interest in you. Oh. 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 I hung out with Kirigi. Kirigi and I bonded a little. We need to give her a present. Frickity fracking, shacking him back. Damned that crack. <laughs> I have no present to give her. Uh... Wait, thinking about it, the first time. Actually, wait, let me save it because I don't want to press give her and then I have to give her something that I don't want. Let's just save it. Alright, so. I think. Okay, the key items I can't give. So that means the only things I have available is bird rice and. Tumbleweed, which huh. wait, wait, wait. I don't know if she'll like. Okay, let's just give. She doesn't like it. She like. Oh wait, 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 wait. You don't see those too often. You might have to take that. I'd like to send me more detail. Should I do a bit? <gasps> What's this? Music exchange means. Something serious and deep is coming from her mouth right now. Isn't it time we both stop to this? To what? You believe that in order to build a bond of trust, we must get to know each other be better, yes? Yeah. I can see where you're coming from. But I think you would be better off giving up on me. What? Why? Because I can't tell you anything. You mean you can't trust me? <gasps> Getting too involved with others can cloud one's judgement. I've learned that lesson the hard way. The hard way? What do you mean? No. Haven't you noticed that there's something I always have on? Something no nobody else wears? Well, she, she doesn't wear a ribbon. She doesn't wear glasses, so... Gloves? Because I know she wears gloves, I think it's that. Do you wear your gloves, right? Yeah. Ooh, I am, yes. But what did those gloves have to do with what you were saying about getting too involved with others? I let my feelings for someone cloud my judgement. Those gloves are a constant reminder of, that mis of the mistake I made that day. And the promise I made to myself, never to make the same mistake again. Sorry, I don't really follow. Could you maybe go into a little more detail? No, I can't tell you any more. Anything more? We're done here. We're done? Well, then I think either I don't know. I think about her, who she is, what she wants. Don't, don't look so depressed. It's not like I don't trust you. In fact, I do, and that's why I thought I should tell tell you. So. That I truly honestly can tell you anything neither about me nor these gloves it's been years since anyone other than me has seen my uncovered hands years yeah. and I'm sure that that won't change anytime soon the only people I can show my hands to are my family only your family mm. would you like to sign up <laughs> what mm. tricked you again <laughs> You really, truly are an open book. 
And once again, oh, and once again, I'm the butt of the joke. But for once, she's actually laughing aloud. She actually looks like she's enjoying herself. This isn't part of the act anymore, is it? Could I possibly finally be getting a peek of what lies beneath her clothes? Oh wait, no, beneath her eye mask. I keep, I keep warning you, but I suppose maybe it's okay if you don't change. You just wouldn't be you any other way. In the end, there's still not a lot I can say about her. But the one thing I can say is that the distance she keeps, keeps seeing. That she keeps seems to gotten just a little bit shorter. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got a new skill point. Okay, every time to maroon for it, should I have one more free time thing wherever I have. And um, and then it's the next day. Okay, first thing is first. Okay. Hmm. So, let's, she is in her room, yes, it's like, it's like the same as, as all the time. Uh, you know what, before, just before I do it, I have to, I have to check something. Which I really, I really didn't do, but if I could just find a medal, find at least two medals, I should get in the shop machine, get a present, and I can use that as a present for the next time. Because I really, I don't think tumbleweed's gonna work. And yes, okay, it's a habit, okay. Can I check that? This is mono cam. Yes! Boom! Okay, let's get out of the room. Boom! Damn right! This. Yes! There's three medals. Oh, alright. You! Four medals. Let's try and get five. Let's try and get five again. Right, please, can get something for Kirige so we can give it to her. And a really good one, though. Let's give it a shot. Do, 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 do. What was it? What was that? I guess I can check this here. And bird rice are there. Reaction shot monsters. What, sh what says Japanese TV better than a good reaction shot? Now you can watch all your favorite actors and actresses bulging their eyes and dropping their jaws and getting way too close to the camera without all their fluff in this intensely epic collection. Okay. Oh, I'm going to totally left. So I had no other presence. Kirigi! Can you please tell me some more about your gloves or whatever's underneath that clothes? Oh, uh, wait, what? Yes. I suppose a change of pace wouldn't hurt every once in a while. Yeah. Sure, I can take a little break. So we hang out. I'll take a break with you, Riggy. Sure, of course I would. I just got the. I just got something new. A Japanese TV collection. This is the thing I'm talking about. This right here. No!
Did it just waste that then? Let's give it a shot. I just want to know for sure. Wait there. Let's try this. Let's see how six is done, wasn't it? What is it? What is that? The frickity frick. Add them, they blew them in the direction of Sony, and they kind of taste like peanuts if you got a good imagination. I wonder if, Ki if Kirigi would like. <laughs> if we would like these. Uh, I didn't know if you would, but I guess we might as well try. She likes bird seeds, so. Why won't she? Yes, you know. Let's please, hopefully she does. I'm doing this for you, Kiriki! Yes, he's hang out. Yes, we hang out. Yes, we will. On to this, we will. Yes, yes, we will. We give you. We, yeah, remember last time we give you bird seeds? Um, how would you feel if we give you sunflower seeds? Are you sure? Thanks. She seems to have liked it a bit. Ooh! That didn't do jack shit. Yeah, guys, let's carry on. Getting kind of hungry. Probably should grab something to eat before it gets too late. Let's see what the cafeteria's got. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess I think it's about time to end this session. I know we haven't really. A second murder hasn't even happened yet, and I've already did this session done. So, I was most of the time about the free time. This is about a free time session, I can call it, really. So, if you guys enjoyed. And if you have any anything, uh, like if I'm spending too much time with Kirigi, you think? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. And for the next session, I'll take it into consideration, and I'll and I'll probably uh, hang out more. It depends on what you guys think. If you like me hanging out with Kirigi more, so I don't know if anything happens. <laughs> this is I have no idea what happens, but I'm just thinking, Kirigi, I seem to like her. I think. I hope she doesn't backstab me like Mizuno did. But we'll see. And we'll, we'll find out later on. So we're going to end here. Pause it. And we're going to end here and we're going to think. And I hope you guys join me for the next session. It's been Phantom Shark. See you guys next time. <laughs>